is necessary to interact successfully with people from different cultures. Pause the video and answer these questions by writing a note on your notebook. Keep your notes handy since I'll ask you to go back to them again after I share with you an intercultural competence framework which tries to answer this exact question. There are many frameworks to understand intercultural competence. However, I would like us to discuss Darla Deardorff's framework, which is one of the most solidly research-based, very well known and widely used in intercultural research and by intercultural practitioners. According to her, intercultural competence is defined as the ability to interact successfully and appropriately with people from different cultures. According to Darla Deardorff's intercultural competence framework, there are five components influencing how we can interact successfully and appropriately with people different from us. The first one is the attitudes we have. Useful attitudes to work with and build relationships with others we consider different from us are respect, openness, curiosity, and discovery or exploration. These attitudes imply a willingness to navigate uncertainty in a way that is respectful to others and to move beyond one's comfort zone to further develop the knowledge and skills we might need to be appropriate and effective when we are interacting with people from a different cultural background. Number two, the second component is the knowledge we have about ourselves first. That's our cultural self-awareness, which is the awareness of the way one's culture has influenced our identity and worldview. And on the other hand, the knowledge of other cultures and worldviews or how specific cultures influence other people's attitudes, thoughts, and behaviors. In order to be effective when interacting with people from different cultural backgrounds, we need to be able to see the world from their perspectives, with their eyes, their minds, and their hearts. The third component in Darla Deardorff's intercultural competence framework is skills particularly our listening, evaluating, analyzing, interpreting, and building relationship skills. We can be fully effective and appropriate in intercultural relationships only when we're able to fully listen to understand and not only to confirm what we think we already know. Evaluate withholding judgment making space so we can give our first thoughts a second look. And interpreting intentionally and consciously based on our thorough analysis of the interaction and aligning ourselves with our values. The fourth component in Darla Dirdl's model is what she calls internal outcomes, cognitive flexibility, adaptability, ethno-relativity, and empathy. When working across cultures, we need to fully understand that our truth is not the only truth. We need to become able to see the world from different perspectives, understand what is important to that other party, and respond in a way the other party wants to be treated. The invitation here is to switch from treat others the way you want to be treated, which puts ourselves sort of in the center of how all people supposedly want to be treated towards an interculturally sensitive, treat others the way they want to be treated. We are all very important. I do not mean to say the contrary, but probably not everyone shares your preferences or opinions, particularly in diverse contexts. The fifth 
And last component of Darla Dirtorf's model is external outcomes or um, behaviors. This is the way we translate our attitudes, knowledge, skills, and internal outcomes into behaviors and communication styles, which are effective, which means that they allow you to achieve your goals and also appropriate, not making offense, not taking offense in intercultural situations. So effectiveness can be determined by the individual, but appropriateness can only be determined by the other person who will evaluate our behavior according to their own cultural expectations or worldview. Yeah.